All right, looking outside again, that very dramatic picture of the clouds on one hand and the showers and downpours on the other hand. Our temperature is certainly reflecting the scattered nature of the rain, ranging from 70s at Kenner and Reserve to about 90 degrees at Slidell, Hammond and Thibodeau. And here is the scattered rain again, just as expected right around lunchtime, 11 o'clock to noon. We saw these pop up for most spots, especially south of the lake, and these are all pushing off to the west and we are seeing them move at least, but we do have in the New Orleans area, especially along the West Bank, right where we were seeing that big downpour on the left hand side of the screen. That's corresponding with you can see the downpour there around Gretna and Marrero and parts of Terrytown and then also in New Orleans in the New Orleans East to Mid City area. There is actually a street flood advisory that's just been issued for this green shaded area, mostly just these parts of Orleans that have had that downpour. Officially, that advisory goes until 215. Really, we just need to watch for those typical spots that we know about underpasses, different intersections that we're familiar with that typically do fill up with water with downpours. But at least the rain does appear to be moving again. It might come back because we have scattered showers and storms kind of pushing across the area, uh, but we are looking at at least the rain making some progress and not just completely sitting over one spot. Lake Salvador also along coastal spots. We have the showers moving across spots over there and also beginning to see some showers and a little thunderstorm here just off the coast of Mandeville to Lacombe and along the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Our surface high is out there and again around the high you can see that east southeast flow and that is going to be continuing to help the showers and storms to form and also move them off to the west. So today our high temperature will stay in the upper 80s, but again it really depends. Some of you are already at 90 some spots in the 70s as I was pointing out. Still a pretty decent 60% chance for rain through the afternoon until we calm down this evening with our lows in the 70s. So here's our model through 3 p.m. Still some spotty to scattered rain. Fast forward to about 6 p.m. and it has been looking like things might finish up a bit earlier perhaps today, maybe 5, 6 o'clock starting to see things going downward as far as the rain coverage and intensity. And then by 8 p.m. we're looking mostly quiet. Now looking ahead to tomorrow, first of all, overnight pretty quiet, 7 a.m. tomorrow. First day back at school for at least some people and of course some of you might be going back to school for the what second week in some spots. 1 p.m. though, here we go with the showers and thunderstorms and really it's just a continuation of this pattern we've been in. Our flooding rain outlook, by the way, today has been extended into some spots in Louisiana. This was a lot farther north earlier, just clipping some of the fringes of our area more toward Baton Rouge, really, and in our uh, tomorrow outlook. We're not actually included Wednesday, though. We are included once again. The bright green corresponds to the marginal risk for flooding rain. So that's your downpours bringing a quick couple inches of rain that could cause some street flooding. Now also what we have at the end of the week is a trough of low pressure an upper low. So nothing that is looking to develop as far as anything tropical, but this would be some low pressure skirting along our coast in the northern Gulf and also a surface boundary will get drawn to the south. So these things may enhance that chance for some of those heavy downpours. Now really in the tropics, all we have at this point, no named storms, no active systems going, but there is a wave now heading out over the Atlantic Ocean. It has a medium chance, 40% chance of developing in the next five days. So not that high a chance. It has all this dry, dusty air and some kind of marginally conducive conditions where it may develop. But again, you can see the chance is not uh, really that high for this week. Notice it's really far out there, 5,000 miles from us right now, so we will track it. But at this point, models are kind of keeping it a little farther off to the north, whether it develops or just kind of stays a loose, low pressure area or waves. So actually, that's not even looking like it's going to get near the Gulf Coast. So no tropical threats. Just the chance for those daily scattered showers and thunderstorms all the way through the week. President Biden is visiting Kentucky today to see the